Hey everyone, Chris here from Philly Mennonite Church, and we're going to do our midweek musing a day early. I know it's not Wednesday, it's only Tuesday, but I couldn't help but get this out today. See, the truth from this past week's sermon had to do with what wisdom we follow. Will we follow the wisdom of this world, or will we follow the wisdom from above, the wisdom from God Almighty? And, and right, James tells us there's ways we know based on the fruit or the outcomes of which wisdom we're following. Right? He, he, he says that the wisdom from above is first pure and then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy, impartial, and sincere. And I felt it important to do this today because today is, a, is an awesome day. It is, it's known as Star Wars Day, right? May the 4th, may the 4th be with you, right? Get it? Maybe, maybe don't. If you watch Star Wars, you should hopefully understand why May the 4th is Star Wars Day. And I got my Star Wars shirt on, and I got my Darth Vader. See, in the, Dar in the Star Wars universe, there's all these characters. But really, this, the, the series and the movies center, well, they center around Anakin Skywalker. Spoiler alert, same person as Darth Vader. Right, and so Anakin Skywalker is this young Jedi who is promising, he's talented, he's passionate, um, and he's got this prophecy spoken over him that they think he's the fulfillment of, this prophecy that, that he's the chosen one, right? And so they start, the Jedi start feeding into him. He gets Obi-Wan Kenobi as his mentor and he starts raising him up. But all along the way, we see hints of two things that, that James speaks against. He says, be careful for these things. If these things are in your heart, they will lead to all kinds of evil, chaos, and disorder. Do you remember what those two things were? It was bitter jealousy and selfish ambition. See, we see hints of this in young Anakin. We see it as he's growing and developing this jealousy of not having enough, of wanting more, more prestige, more power, more authority. He wants to be a master Jedi, and he's, he's not patient to wait for the Jedi to give this uh, declaration. He's... He, he's very selfishly motivated, even when some of the things seem to not be selfishly motivated. He's doing things because he doesn't want to get hurt anymore. He wants to have things go his way. And see, ultimately, this leads to a very dark road for Anakin because he starts seeing that something very bad is going to happen to the woman that he loves, Padme, and he's determined to do whatever it takes to make sure this doesn't happen. Only thing is... He starts listening to wrong advice. He starts listening to sinister advice. He starts listening to the dark side and being swayed to turn to the dark side as if it will be able to rescue and stop these things. And ultimately it doesn't. It doesn't do anything that it promised Anakin it would do. None of his powers save Padme. None of it stops any of the things that he sees is going to happen in these dreams from actually happening. The only thing that happens is Anakin morphs and turns into this uh, horrific, evil Sith known as Darth Vader. And, and see, this is exactly what James is talking about. Uh, maybe what's the solution? Well, James, remember, he says, if you lack wisdom, ask God, and he will freely give it to you. See, he was surrounded by people who were, would have given him and were trying to give him good advice. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, uh, even Padme herself, trying to keep him from walking down a path that, that, he, that they knew would only lead to destruction, right? And that's all that it did lead to. But we have an opportunity in ourselves that we don't have to follow that path. Like we, we, serve, we serve the God of the universe. We serve God Almighty, the, the God who's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We can ask him for his wisdom. We can turn to Jesus. We can ask the Holy Spirit to guide us in whatever it is that we may be facing and have wisdom that will show itself to be pure, peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy, impartial, and sincere. So as you continue this day, whether you're a Star Wars fan or not, whether you're going to watch a movie or not, hear the truth that James is trying to say. There's two kinds of wisdom out there. Wisdom from above and wisdom that is earthly and even demonic, he says. He says one's going to lead you to good things. One's going to lead you to, to a place that will, that will be peaceful. That will be peace. The other one will lead to chaos and disorder. 
So as you finish this week, follow the wisdom from God above. Follow that wisdom that will lead you to peace. Go and be peacemakers. Go and live out the wisdom that God gives us where we live, work, and play and experience the wonderful things that he will do in you and through you as you do. So may the Lord be with you as you go the rest of this week. Blessings.